Hi, my name is McKenna Brewer, and I'm in seventh grade. Hi, my name is Owen Taylor, and I'm in ninth grade. What inspired me to go on the trip was some previous stories that I'd heard from some of our like peers who had gone on mission trips before, and I just wanted to be a part of um, the church and like experience that. To prepare for the trip, we had about five meetings leading up to the trip where we would go and we'd talk about what the VBS theme would be, who would be speaking each day, who would be in charge of what, the games, and all the things like that. Each day during the mission trip, we would wake up fairly early and then we'd have breakfast. Then we'd go out to the work site where we would help um, a disabled woman named Miss Angela and we built her a ramp. And depending on the day, we would either shower and come back for VBS or we would shower and then go volunteer for the community. There was a team member, um, his name was Easton. He came to all the meetings. Um, and he was super enthusiastic about going, really excited. And then after the week, the same week after the last meeting, um, he got sick, he went to the hospital and he ended up passing away. Um, then um, um, we got a board that had his name on it and we were gonna put it underneath it, the ramp. Um, but when one of the leaders told Miss Angela about it, she told us we could put it on the side so everybody could see it. As we were dedicating that board to Easton and we were placing that special board on the ramp, we all prayed and we prayed in a circle and shared memories of Easton. And it was definitely a time of healing. I was also grateful that in his 13 years that I got to get to know him and be a part of his life. One of our team members was really close with Easton, and he was speaking one day at the VBS. Um, and before he had started, he came to me and one other of the team members, and he practiced on us. And so then when he did it, he added a part about Easton in later, um, and he got really emotional. And we all came around, we gave him a hug. I asked if he wanted me to finish it. And so it was, it was really like a God thing that he came and practice to us beforehand because I knew what he was going to say after, so I was able to finish for him. As we were building the ramp, I'd say that, of course, we got to help Miss Angela with her yard and her porch and, of course, the ramp, but it was also nice to help her spiritually and to pray for her and whatever her family needed. So I'd say that we also affected her um, soul as well. Something I think I, that would be good to bring up, one of our team members, um, he came up, went up to Pastor Josh, said that he felt called by God to fulfill the mission that Easton had set out to do. Easton started something and Sam wanted to make sure it was finished. And he had no prior knowledge to what we were doing other than we were having a VBS. Um, but he did a great job and he really did fulfill Easton's mission.